What's up everybody? Welcome to the Beauty Supply. I am Kelly. It is like, I want to say 4 o'clock in the morning, but I can't sleep. So since I can't sleep, I'm going to be redoing this wig here. Well, actually not redoing it. What is it called? Restoring it, kind of. Um, I just am up and I can't sleep. And when I can't sleep, I just started to play in hair. So I'm going to be taking this old wig that I have here. I think I had it like yeah, last year. I want to cut it. I want to add some more hair in here. Add some extra extensions here. Also old. And then I want to re-dye it. So this wig at first was supposed to be this color at the bottom. Like this burgundy here. If you can see it, it was supposed to be this kind of color, not compared to this red, this bright red at the top. You can tell the difference between the two colors when you see them on top of each other. So I'm going to be making this wig a little darker as well because it's winter time and I need something that's not so bright. And I'm going to be cutting it maybe about here. So cutting off some ends. And I'm also going to be, um, like I said, dyeing it and washing it, everything to get it back to life. I don't know why I'm up so late, but let's get into it. All right, guys. So we're going to start off first by brushing the hair out. You want to make sure that there's no tangles and it's nice and smooth throughout. So everything that you do from this process on will be nice and even. Then I'm going to go ahead and pull the hair to the front of my head so we can stretch it out. You definitely want to pull the hair to the front so you get that V look in the back. You get that look because the hair is stretching further from the back than it is in the front. So when you cut the hair, it's going to be shorter in the front and longer in the back. After doing that, I'm going to cut straight across so I can clip all the ends off. Make sure it's a straight line so everything is even. And as you can tell already, the hair looks way better at the end. It's fuller and it's not those extra strands or thin pieces at the end of the hair anymore. Now it's time for the color application. I'm going to be mixing two parts red and one part blue so I can get a nice violet color. This is the first color here, intense red. It's a bright red like usual, maybe a crimson color. And I'm going to put a lot of that in an equal part of this Raging Red, which is now like a, um, it's kind of a pink color. It's still red, but it's more pinkish to it. And I'm going to do equal parts of those reds there. And I'm going to add a little bit of blue, this indigo here, because you know if you mix blue and red, you're going to get a violet or a purple what I was going for was violet or burgundy so you have that nice blue undertone you put a little bit of blue I didn't want them to do black because black was going to be too dark and it was going to just mess up the entire color so the blue and the red went great together and then we're going to go ahead and mix those colors together so we can make sure this is the color that we want After that, you want to make sure you do a test strip on maybe some paper towel. This here that I am testing it on is a makeup wipe. As you can tell, I should have definitely used a paper towel because it's too dark and it wasn't showing me the color. So I tried it again on paper towel with a little less color. Now you see, or if you can't see, it was too purple for me. So I definitely had to add some more red to it so we can brighten this color up. So I added a little more of the intense red so we can get more of a burgundy look so we didn't have so much of the blue or the violet in there. And when mixing that again, I realized this is the perfect color here. This is actually what I'm going to use on my hair.
now time for the application process so like I said I love the way the colors looked at the bottom of the hair so I'm not gonna touch that I started in the middle of the wig where it started to get bright and I just brushed paint or, or I yeah brushed some color on top of it I didn't really want the color to go completely through so with this process I just brushed it on the top layer and then I would go on to my next section this way I'll get the dark on the top and I actually would still get a few streaks of that bright red that it is there on the top to keep the color still a little light and you know make it look dimensional and I did this through the entire top of the head so I would paint it on top and then I'll brush it through a little and then I will go to the next section Once I got to the closure part, I had to make sure that I did get the color all the way throughout because I did actually want the top to be actually one color. So I would have to part through my closure to color all of it. it just in case I would part it any other way while wearing the wig, I didn't want it to be a bright red streak in the middle of my closure. Now this is what it looks like after I fully washed the hair out and I'm just rinsing to make sure I have no more color in it. As you can see the wig is now a complete even color. It looks way darker than what it is. I promise it's not that dark. It's just um, while the hair is wet it always gets darker. When it dries it's going to be brighter. But you see how even this color is from root to tip. All of it is one consistent application. Finally, because I'm going to let the hair air dry overnight, this is just the color one more time. But what I'm going to do is after I towel dried the hair and rinsed it out, I'm going to take this leave-in conditioner, spray it throughout the hair as well, and I'm going to brush it to, through because I don't want the hair to become dry or brittle after it dries overnight. So I put that leave-in conditioner in there just to keep some moisture while it dries. So this was the before. You see how it was way brighter on the top and then uh, burgundy color on the bottom. The colors wasn't even and they did not blend. And then this is the after. All the color of the wig is even. It all blends together and it's a beautiful burgundy look here.